former Corrie star Tristan Gemmell is right here, currently in rehearsals for the new touring production of The Birthday Party. His first major role since leaving the street at Christmas. The things that went on in Coronation Street, for goodness sake. Yes, he crammed a lot in, didn't he? He sure did. Now, look, I have to point out, because it's very evident, you've gone from being a silver fox back to the dark hair. Yes. For a very good reason. Yeah, a couple of people have noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of evident. Yeah, no, I, I wanted to do, try something different. I want, and for the play, I wanted to, to have a, a particular look. So right. I've opted for this for the ah. play. And who knows if I like it, I might keep it. You might just way. keep it, mm. see how it goes. Don't know okay. yet. So look, tell me about the birthday party. It's Pinter, but people should not think that that is something that is intimidating because it's not. It's a great story. No, it, it is. It's a great play. It's a classic play of the yeah. 20th century. It is. I, I, could, I was intimidated by Pinter for a long time going to see it. I felt there was something that I was missing. I wasn't quite clever enough to grasp it or something. But that's kind of the point. He didn't want to spoon feed people with a sort of easy moralistic message. He wanted to make his audience work a little, sure. not confuse them or deliberately be obtuse, but, but make people think. And his, his, he's a master of language, so, and he, so he, does it, he does it brilliantly. So it does, it does make sense even though some of it doesn't make sense. But that's OK. Yeah. It's one of those where you, you go away and then you talk about it in the pub afterwards. Yeah. I love plays like that. Yeah. That you don't just go, oh, yeah, that was really good. Anyway, what well, and the next thing? <laughs> you exactly. do that. And at the moment, it's just carry on. You're rehearsing, you're carrying on until you're told not to. It's show business as usual. It's yes. show business as usual. And right. actually, I think right now that we need that. Yeah. You know, we really do. We need escapism. We need to go and see films and to go, well, we're still, well, we can. Yeah. You know, well, it's not banned. We can do all of these things. We are, yeah, we're in the middle of rehearsals. Of uh, we accept there may be some disruption, but we will have a play to put on and Absolutely. we will put it on at some stage. Good for uh, hopefully, you. Uh, April the 2nd in Cheltenham. The show will go on. The show will go on. And you've kind of teamed up with, the, there she is, there's Michelle. Michelle That's Collins is the name of you there, who of course was in Coronation Street. Did you? You didn't have that much to do with each other, though. Really. In Coronation Street, no. She left before That's I right. arrived, was, so we yeah, never crossed paths in Coronation it Street. It didn't. It didn't actually yeah, work. Sliding doors. Yeah. But you would know all the same people. Yes, of course. We do. We've had a few conversations. I know. And how? How is it? What do you miss most? Is it? Is it just the gang? Uh, it's. It's sort of like a family. It's not like a normal job, really. No. Because you're in each other's pockets twenty four seven. Sure. Uh, it's it's yeah it's like a family that's the best way to to describe it so I do miss that I miss the I miss the people I really and do. high drama as we said you a know, lot the, of the it, double yes. life at the end yeah that was, was they bizarre they cramped a lot in they <laughs> sure did to that but it also, wasn't a happy Christmas and this is the power of Coronation Street because mm. you did that storyline about testicular cancer and Coronation Street of course is not just in the UK it's global mm. and and there was a fan got in touch and said I got checked out that's right that's we've um, we've got a big audience in Canada yes. and through the uh, during the testicular cancer storyline there were those little messages at the end that that you know tell you to check yourself and what a gentleman in Canada did check himself he found a lump it was uh, not good and but he found it early because of being uh, of watching the show uh, and he's his girlfriend got in touch with me over uh, Twitter and eventually they ended up in England a few months later so I took them on a tour of the set and we had oh. uh, you know he was really Wow. It was an amazing, it was a really amazing thing. And that's when Corrie's at its best, when you suddenly realise that the thing that you do every day for your, for your sort of job actually yeah. can have a, a, a huge things. effect on people's lives. That doesn't happen very often, does it? No, that's, so that's amazing, really rewarding. It? Oh, it's incredible. Yeah. I have to salute you as well, Mastermind, doing the moon landings. Yes, fellow I'm space geek. All this, I'm a total geek. I'm beyond a geek. What a brilliant thing to do. Now, look, if I could wave a magic wand and say to you, you can go on the next mission to Mars, would you be there? I, w I would have said that instantly, yes, before I had kids. Now, ah. it's, it, it would depend on, you know... That's it, true. It, what if they could come with you and you could be colonists? Then, sure. <laughs> I'm, not sure that, I'm not sure they would like that. I think they would. Dad! <laughs> I think they would <laughs> love it. So is that one of your, like, really, really early memories, is watching the landing? Watching yeah, the I think landing? I was about five when the last landing right. happened, so I remember watching that. Uh, and I also I think I've got a vague memory of Apollo 13 as well, but I was tiny weeny. Oh yeah, I remember that. That was incredible, wasn't it? Yeah. And I, I just I, I just think people it's just especially now, especially right now, it's things like that, you know, as human beings that we sort of strive and we've got curiosity and we, we work hard and and, um, and and we'd have to do these things. We have to explore, otherwise what's the point? Absolutely. Eventually, you know, uh, the sun is gonna run out of its energy and we're gonna have to find another place to live. That's a few million years away. It is, but uh, you know, we have to start thinking about we have to start thinking about uh, these things, making plans. But well, you know, as a species, we've always, you know, 
colonized and discovered and explored and the next great unexplored I know. space is space. Absolutely. And it's like with, with everything that's going on, you know, we're lucky we've got some amazing scientific minds and we have to put our trust in them and our faith in them. They're already talking about trialling vaccines, so fingers crossed it's going to be OK. Yeah, trust the people who know. I think we're going to be all right. I think I do. I, I think, think we're going to be all I right. I think we will. I, I think, think so. And, it, and life goes on, doesn't it, Tristan? It definitely does. And the birthday party starts, as you said, it's in Cheltenham? Cheltenham, April the 2nd. April then the 2nd. it goes to Manchester, Oxford, Milton Keynes, Norwich, Gosh, Edinburgh, Cardiff, uh, Guildford, and I may be forgotten another one. Do you know what? That's that was a good plug. <laughs> well done for remembering all that. That's impressive. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Great to see you. Thank nice you so much, you. and good luck with it. Thanks good very much. Enjoyed that video? Then I think this next one will be right up your street. Or head to our homepage to discover more. <laughs>